Am I the butthole for being frustrated that my girlfriend doesn't work hard at her job and gets paid nearly twice as much as I do? My girlfriend and I both work in tech, she's a safety validator for software, working at a consulting firm, and I'm doing network infrastructure support. When we both worked in different offices I didn't know much about her day-to-day -day life at work. I knew she made a lot more than me, 120k to my 66k, and she credits a lot of that to job hopping, she's 25 and has had three full-time jobs since college. I've been at one place since college. But since we've been working from home, I've seen a lot of her daily schedule. And hers versus mine are really different. She gets up at 9.15 to drag herself into the home office for her 9.30 to 10 daily meeting. After the meeting she goes and showers and has breakfast from about 10 to 10.45, answering a few Slack messages and emails on her phone but mostly just listening to podcasts and eating and doing her morning routine. Then she works till noon, and takes a lunch break from noon till 1. Then she works from 1 to 4, often having meetings or working on her own stuff. And at 4 will spend an hour or so doing household chores and stuff while keeping an eye on her phone to answer emails. And outside of 9 to 5 she blocks work-related messages from her phone. So basically she actually works about 4 and a half hours daily, and does her own thing for about 2 hours, just paying enough attention to reply to emails that come in. I basically work non-stop 8.30 to 5 or 6 p.m., working 8.5 to 9.5 hours a day. I don't take breaks in the workday to shower or eat breakfast and lunch or do household chores. And a few weeks ago I got kind of frustrated with her for basically hardly doing anything for her job at all. And that they were overpaying her if she was spending half the day slacking. She got frustrated with me and said that they hired her for her knowledge and it wasn't my place to say what her time was worth, that if her boss and CEO saw the work she produced and chose to pay her what they chose to pay her that it wasn't my place to undervalue her because I was being jealous. And that she picked her job instead of one that might pay better because she wanted a good work-life balance. She was sick of wasting her life away at work that was a lot more demanding. I said that she was being a little privileged, not a lot of people can just choose to make six figures and wander off from work for practically half the day, and that all I was saying was that she was working half as hard as a lot of people who earn a lot less. She got mad at me and said that it's not up to me to decide what her time is worth am I the butthole for what I said about my girlfriend's work ethic? Uda, sounds like you're jealous. Not a good look. If she performs her job duties to the satisfaction of her superiors and they pay her to do that, then her work ethic has nothing to do with it. It sounds to me like she got lucky as hell and landed the dream job and you're big mad because you have to bust your ass for less money. That has nothing to do with your girlfriend and her work ethic. Get over it. Thank you for all the awards, everyone. I woke up to an inbox that was absolutely heaving in thought. Did I start a fight? Aren't they supposed to be on the same team? He should be proud of her, happy for her, instead he sees it as a competition. That's really ugly. Original poster, Uda. Not to mention majority of the chores. Yeah that extra hour she takes every day to clean up their joint mess. So very lazy. I wish I had remembered that in my Uda comment. To be frank he's such a huge butthole it's hard to keep track. Also she was way nicer than I would have been because isn't the saying work smarter not harder? It could just genuinely be that original poster isn't efficient at his job because I've seen people all over reddit and all over life who started working from home saying that they have breaks to go hike and I've literally even been biking and taken 3 mile walks with people who are supposed to be at work but still get everything done. Working from home showed me that people can easily get their work done on their own schedules and it often doesn't even take the equivalent of a full work day with a lunch break, so like 7 hours. Not everyone of course for various reasons but the traditional 9 to 5s might be unnecessary in my honest opinion for many jobs. As long as people complete their required tasks and their bosses are happy, who cares how long it actually takes them? I found once I started working that a lot of the work day is often spent. Not working. Not to mention the 30 to 90 minute daily round trips to the office. Exactly. Like she isn't just sitting around doing nothing, she's literally doing chores when she's got some breathing time during her day. Original poster says he works a long shift and never has a break. Would he rather have them both exhausted and the house not taken care of? This was screaming at me from the start. Sounds like she's not even slacking off in these periods, 
she's contributing to their shared household. Also, she's doing chores with her extra time. He benefits from her spare time. What is even his problem? Deeply insecure. I hope she dumps him. Right? My boyfriend and I don't even share finances, and as he's looking at new jobs and not seeing what he wants, the only reason I'd be upset would be if he took a high-paying job that he absolutely loathed and worked him to death. If he found a high-paying job that offered awesome work-life balance, I would be ecstatic for him. This makes me think of my fiancé and I. He's a manager and I am work from home right now. I make a little more than him and I work a later shift so over the last few months he's seen how light my workload is compared to his. And I do think it makes him upset, but not at me. At his employers. Ever since I've started working at home, he complains a lot more about his job. My fiancé works very hard and from what I can tell the company he said is a mess. There's high turnover, his bosses are absent and ineffective. They constantly call him in and stress him out. I think seeing me make the same money in a more supportive, less stressful workplace gets him fired up and I'm glad. I want him to realize he's worth more than they give him and I hope this is the kick in the pants he needs to move to a better company. I think you really nailed something here. Your fiancé realizes it's his employer that is to blame for his imbalance, not your success. Like original poster is the butthole for several reasons, but his partner searched for a job that was worth her time and valued her. He can call her lazy, but she's the one that took on the time, effort and, potentially, risk of leaving one job for another until she found the right fit. Maybe he is the lazy one for not a, demanding more from his employer b, giving an ultimatum if his value isn't renegotiated c, having the balls to follow through and jump ship even though it can be scary as hell to leave the security blanket of an established job for something new and unknown. Exactly. And in other ways, I felt the same feelings as him. There was a time where he was going school and feeling very excited and engaged in his work when I wasn't. But that was my issue, and I was able to talk about it with him instead of blaming him for it. Actually, it might be he doesn't like the woman making more money than him. It doesn't spring immediately to mind because it's not anything my husband ever cared about. You are so right on. My husband had a job that paid well but made him miserable and worked him to death. When he was laid off, it was a blessing. I have always out-earned him and been the family's primary financial support. When he had to look for a new job, we made an agreement that as long as his paycheck could cover groceries, cat supplies, and a few small expenses, then it didn't matter what he was doing as long as he was happy. He has no issues with how much I earn since it affords both of us a very comfortable lifestyle. I love how you two look at it as a team as opposed to op. He'd rather she be with him in the trenches earning less and hating life, you would prefer a happy husband. Good for you. This. I make the same as op's girlfriend and have a very similar job. I'm paid for my knowledge and my experience, and it's known that some days I hardly work at all while others I have a really high emotional load from the work I do, it can be high stress. My boyfriend fully supports me even though he works harder than I do, and pushes me to advance my career. We don't share finances yet, but he's always super proud of my accomplishments and vice versa, because we are a team. Our successes are shared, and all that matters is that we are both happy. Seriously. My wife makes way more money than I do and I'm grateful that we're able to afford so many things that I could never afford on my own. But she's also stressed as hell from her work. I would happily give up on some of the nicer things we have if it meant she could work fewer hours and wouldn't be under so much stress. But she also loves her work, so the most I can do is try to support her and pick up the slack when I can. Uda, op. Here's some free advice. It's not me versus you. It's us versus the problem. She's not your adversary. If you don't get on her team and support your partner, you're going to be alone soon. Grow up. Yep. My husband is an engineer and with work from home finally being a thing I get to see just how little time slash effort his job takes from him. And just how brilliant he is on phone calls, the man can rattle off part numbers and specs and obscure chemicals while making me toast and it's sexy as f. Now, do you know what I tell people about this? How amazing he is, how his employers worship him and how cool it is that he's just down the hall so I can go talk to him about random crap and he's almost never busy in spite of having more projects than any three of his co-workers. Up, if you're not crazy proud of your partner and supportive of her goals and achievements, cut her loose so she can find someone who is. 
At a certain level, the less time it takes to do the job, the more skill it takes and the better it pays. A first-year intern will take a long time to do an exam and make a questionable diagnosis. An experienced hand surgeon will take 30 seconds and know exactly what's going on and how to treat it. Nope, he wants her to be miserable like him. But she doesn't see it. Yet. Hopefully she sees that he doesn't want the best for her, he just wants her to feel how he does. Yeah, I'm. Really not sure where he's going with this. What was his point? That she should be ashamed? That she should work more? That she should suffer how he suffers? What was the end goal of this conversation? Not only that. What's the education she got that differs from his? What duties does her job include or her responsibilities consist of that his doesn't? What's at stake if she screws up for her company compared to his? It just seems like Ops only got a surface level view of what his girlfriend does, and it's possible that's all he's going to get from someone paid 120k, especially in the tech industry. Silence is golden, bought, and paid for either in your salary or a lawyer's salary. That being said, Op's girlfriend is also probably very good at leveraging her experience and networking skills to keep forward momentum in her career going. We're in a time and age where die-hard loyalty doesn't get paid back. If nothing else, original poster should be taking pointers from his GF to better negotiate for himself, redraft and update his resume, and find something more on her level instead of playing pissy FF games with the person on his side. Original poster, Uda. She worked hard and she got lucky. Lots of people work hard and don't get lucky. No one ever wants to bring up luck, or being in the right place and right time. You give yourself luck by hard work, which she seems to have, but there are so many factors in play. I feel bad for Op, but Uda, some folks just have the gifts. Edit, thanks fellow am I the butthole.h reader, you made my night. I think there was a post a bit back about a guy who found himself in the perfect job situation. He wasn't expected to do much, did what he had to, and got a ton of free time. He was worried about telling his wife who worked really hard at her job that he was getting a much easier ride than she was. Like you, I feel bad for original poster for hating his job, but being mad at his girlfriend isn't the solution, he should be mad at his bosses. He doesn't need to be mad at anyone. He needs to think about how to move forward so he's happy with his career. She probably has really good advice if he, you know, asked instead of crafting all over her. True, but there certainly is some truth to the statement where she was job hopping. As an engineer switching jobs your first few years is can be a really good idea. Wouldn't be surprised if original poster was severely underpaid but his boss is still thinking of him as that new college hire. Op also says that their girlfriend spends an hour a day doing chores while they don't have time for any. So her working fewer hours means she has time to take care of things that original poster doesn't have time for. Would original poster prefer that they both work long hours and live in a pigsty? ETA, my first award. Thank you, D. Yeah and to be honest, while $120,000 a year is a big payday, I think the mentality that she has is one that would be enormously beneficial to the workforce at large. People shouldn't just be paid for time, they should be paid for skill, and aside from maybe retail jobs or public-facing jobs that literally require a person to be there, paying people for the work that they do instead of the time they put into it makes way more sense. I think that probably half the working people on the planet could get their work done in less time than they do it simply because employers want to see employees putting in the time, even if most of that time is wasted because everyone is just trying to run up the clock. He's saying she's being a little privileged without thinking what that means. Sure she's privileged with that but just because she worked and acquired skills to be privileged. It's not like she was born with the knowledge that got her the job. Privilege shouldn't be seen as such a bad thing. Sometimes privilege is earned. Op truly just sounds jealous and petty he's TA. Op is making 60k, he is also privileged. Original poster Uda. Yeah, in my field, if you can find a job in your geographic area as well as subject area, you start in the low mid 30,000 and really only move up if you are attending grad school on the side. I am totally also privileged but man he just sounds like he is not grateful for his girlfriend and also for his life as a whole. Worth noting, if she isn't making time for household chores it sounds like none would get done based on what original poster said. Where is the gratitude? 
Instead original poster thinks that because she makes time for chores she must be unproductive and have too much free time. Uda original poster. And on top of that, original poster is being a martyr about choosing to work outside work hours, presumably since he has a problem with girlfriend blocking work email, and not taking breaks slash eating during work hours. Like, you could honestly just eat lunch and stop complaining. Uda. Also, if he made time to eat properly like everyone else does, he'd probably feel less resentful about his situation. Up. Your workplace won't erect a statue to honor you for this unnecessary martyrdom. Boy, is he going to be mad when he finds out what the CEO is making and how much work they do. He should set them straight. This. I have a friend whose boss says he's the laziest sob he knows, but damn if he isn't good at his job. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, Please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.